morning, people of Pirates, and welcome to FVNN. Today is Monday, November 21st, the 64th day of school. I'm Arun. And I'm David. Mindset, a word we see and hear often at school this year. More on this later. A book featuring year will be for sale tomorrow. You don't want to miss this. Now to Luca for the pledges. Please stand for the pledge. Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Fruitvale Pledge. I can be responsible, respectful, and resourceful with everything I do and say today. Now it's time for Sal. The number to call on your screen is 50612. We'll be answering caller number three. The question is, at what temperature is freezing on a Celsius and Fahrenheit thermometer? Sorry, you're calling number one. Sorry, you're calling number two. Hello, whose class is this? Miss Marchetti. Who's speaking? Macy. Do you like science, Macy? No. <laughs> What's the correct answer? Zero degree, zero degree Celsius and 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Woo! The correct answer is zero degrees Celsius and 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Now to Eleanor for today's menu. Spaghetti with Beyond Meat sauce and artisan roll. Summer salad, steamed corn, side salad, peach cup, apple slices, and orange juice. Bon appetit. Thanks, Eleanor. That sounds delicious. Mindset. Having a growth mindset means challenging yourself to do your best and not give up, even when things get tough. Thinking positive thoughts will help you succeed. So the next time you encounter a challenge, try telling yourself, I've got this, or this will take a lot of work, but I know I'm going to learn a lot of great things. Yearbook order forms are in teachers' mailboxes today, thanks to the Yearbook Club. So teachers, please give the order forms to your students. Ordering will begin tomorrow. Make checks pay payable to Fruitville School. The cost is only $20. You may order online as well. Mayor's Feed the Hungry was a huge success. Let's give Miss Kayo a round of applause. <laughs> that was a lot of hard work. We have a picture of all the boxes that you pirates brought in. So thanks, pirates. Remember to go to Orange Leaf until the end of November. We are a business partner and will give fruit for 25% of what you spend. And no school on Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. It is Thanksgiving break. Now it's time for Weird But True Facts. Did you know that palm trees grew at the North Pole about 55 million years ago? That's weird. But it's true. Now to Mr. Jaffe for some announcements. Good morning, everyone. That was a long time ago. It's a lot colder there now. In fact, that's what we're going to be talking about today. Welcome to Science Monday. Today, or this week, is a great week to think about science, especially energy. As I walked out this morning, I noticed it wasn't as warm as usual, but it's important to know that nothing's happened to the sun. Dorian, would you hold this for a second? Thanks, Dorian. Taking a look at that model. Remember, the sun is at the center of our solar system and it is completely lit up. At the surface, it's about 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit, about 6,000 degrees uh, Celsius, and nothing's changed. What's changed, good, is the tilt of the Earth. The sun is just blazing away like a campfire in the middle of a campground. But if you look at this tilt right here, you'll see that the tilt of the Earth 
means that the northern half of the Earth is tilted towards the sun, getting a little more heat, and the southern half is getting a little less heat. Six months later, Dorian, you are perfect, but I'm going to come around. See how the tilt stays the same? Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Wow. The tilt stays the same. But now the southern half of the Earth is getting more heat, and the northern half is getting less heat. Nothing's happened to the sun, but the tilt leads to half of the year, the southern half gets their summer, and we have our winter. Watch out, Dorian. It's coming around. Watch your eyes. And six months later, there we are. The northern half is having its summer, and the southern half is having its winter. So, friends, just remember... We're, our weather is going to change in a couple of days, but for our friends a little further to the north, it's going to be about six months. Thank you, Dorian. All right, friends, I have a couple of Thanksgiving jokes. This one I'm sure Mrs. Kane's going to be able to get. What key won't open any door? As Mrs. Kane just said, a turkey won't open any door. Let's see if she has this one. Which, which side of a turkey has the most feathers. <laughs> ha! Mrs. Kane says it's the outside. All right. Why <laughs> did the turkey cross the road twice? Why did the turkey cross the road twice, Mrs. Kane? To show it wasn't chicken. Uh. All right. Everybody, how do you keep a turkey in suspense? Everyone, how do you keep a turkey in suspense? I'll tell you later. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Mr. Jaffe. What a wonderful <laughs> kickoff. I, I love that uh, model. It's always tough for our kids. It's just like me. If I lean in, right? Dor Darren's not doing anything. He right? I'm leaning in. I'm getting closer to you. Now I'm leaning back. He's doing nothing. I'm the one leaning, right? So now it's summer. And now it's winter for me, right? So I love the model. So here we go. We are going to pick names. I didn't, I wasn't able to do it Friday because of Student of the Month. Dorian's going to help me out. Go ahead and set her there, buddy. And you can just pick them as quick as we can. So we need 10 today. 10 today. Here we go. Number one, Savannah Shaw from Miss Inger's class. Got a 93 on her reading test. Number two, Breda from Miss Inger's class. Mix them up there, Dorian. Mix them up. Participating and working hard. Thank you. Brady, I mean Brady, I said Brady, Brady. Number three, Ethan from Seltzers. Great job, got a compliment from the sub, love to see that. Number four, now he's on it. Brian from Miss Hodges' class, helping to answer the mystery question. Mm. Number five, Samaria Rainey from Bus 1314. Yes, love to hear it, great job on the bus. Number six, Diana from Miss Marsh's class, positive and respectful all the time, I love it. Number seven, Avery from Wilkes class, super participation in math discussions. Number eight, Charlie from Miss Marsh's class, looking back in the text for answers. Number nine, Trey Morales from Fraley, great job. And number 10, and Dorian, we're going to go lucky 11. That's my favorite number. Let's go 11 today. Kaylin from Miss Inger's class, sounding out difficult words. Wow, big week in Miss Inger's class. Last but not least for Thanksgiving. Is Erica from Schwade's class. The binder was signed all week. Congratulations to all those kids. Head down to my office at this time. Everybody else, have a great day. And if I don't see you, have a great holiday, right? Enjoy those five days off. That includes you two teachers. Enjoy those five days off. All right, everyone. Thank you for allowing me to interrupt. Now back to the anchor. Thank you, Mr. French and Mr. Jaffe. Art Club meets today. And there will be no Math Olympiad Club today. And thank you for watching a wonderful episode of FVNN. I'm Arun. And I'm David. We can have a marvelous Monday. See you tomorrow.